Hi everyone, before I get on to it, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and head over to my Patreon page to help support the channel. Well, today, we're going to look at a black cherry tree, a wild one. Now, these cherries are only about a quarter to one-third inch in width. Now, these are the type of cherries that you want to go search for. Another video I'll be showing is choke cherry. Those ones are going to be, well dry but still very good for like making fruit leather these you can make anything just like a regular cherry you would these have a taste that's similar to uh, almost like a large black cherry but with a slight grassy finish now let's uh, look a little bit on the identification of this plant well you want to look at the bark of the tree now it looks a little bit different. The tree that's right behind me is an older tree. This is about 25 to 30 feet tall. This tree has a trunk that is about hmm, maybe eight inches in diameter, four feet from the ground. Now it's a little bit higher because it's on the bank side, but that four feet, eight inches. Now the bark is gonna look like this, a little bit rough and tough. Now there's another one over by the staircase that I'm close to that is only about maybe three to four inches in diameter and it has a smooth bark, but similar in look. So that's a good identification. You wanna look at the leaf structure. The leaves have a slight serration of a ovate structure of a leaf. A little bit green, and dark green on top and a little lighter underneath. Branch structure is alternate. What else? Uh, the cherry uh, fruiting bodies are going to have uh, a flowering stalk that comes out with the, each fruit forms on that. So here's a uh, photo of those. And what else? Uh, you're looking for a blackish cherry. You want to wait until the cherries are ripe of being black for uh, using for harvest. Now if they're a little bit earlier, they're still gonna be fine if you cook with, but if you're gonna just eat the cherries as of like making juice or jams and jellies just without cooking, uh, you want the full black ones because they're gonna be the sweetest that you can get. Okay, you just wanna reach up, pull the branch down, and here are the cherries right here. So easy to strip them off cup over and pull off. Now if you have a bucket, it'll help. Uh, like you just put them right into the bucket. So here's a close up of the cherries right here. Now this one right here looks like an insect or bird got towards it. And when you pull it straight off, you will get these little stems, but you can take them out and then toss them away. But they taste really good. So let's try these. Oh, I got the cherries and you just like pop them in your mouth, but watch out for the seeds inside the seeds there's a little bit of cyanide but if you don't chew down on them it is a stone fruit so that you might chip your teeth if you bite down on the seed but it's not going to be dangerous if you do just spit it right out after and you're good so let's try it tastes like a black cherry And uh, very sweet, and there's that little grassy taste. Fantastic, and I've made a jelly out of, uh, no, a jam out of this, and it was fantastic. So here's some of the fruit that I picked right here yesterday. It's only about a half a cup. But those are the uh, low branches, and the birds will try and uh, get to them before you can. So always remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See you next time.